Hey guys, welcome to lesson 3.6. This week we are going to be talking about conflict. Now conflict, it's inevitable. Ever since the Garden of Eden, when Adam and Eve decided to do their own thing and disobey God, we have been trying to get people to do what we want. Conflict is a part of our existence on this planet. I mean, you turn on the news, and what is most of the news? It's about conflict, wars, protests, like everything, right? Everything seems to be a disagreement. So it should come as no surprise to us that when the gospel was shared with the Gentiles by mostly Jewish people, there was conflict. Last week, we began to see what it was like for Paul and his friends to be missionaries. Now, they encouraged many people and shared the gospel with so many, but they also faced a lot of rejection and a lot of conflict. Disagreements between believers started to pop up all over the place. There was disagreements between traditional Jewish believers and these new Gentile believers. There were disagreements about Gentiles keeping Jewish laws. In order to help with some of the conflict resolution, early church leaders gathered together to hear both sides of the stories. And after long discussions and prayer, these leaders came to a resolution, and it gives us a strong precedent to follow in times of conflict. Our verse this week is Romans 14, 19, and it says, Let us therefore make every effort to do what leads to peace and to mutual edification. Now, conflict is going to happen even among the most seasoned and mature believers. Even Paul and Barnabas had conflict, and we read about it this week. And this conflict ended their partnership together, and they went on different missions. So if Paul and Barnabas can have conflict, what are we going to do? Well, like we said earlier, conflict is bound to happen. And when it does, whenever possible, we should seek out prayerful and mature believers for counsel. And even if no resolution can be found, both sides should seek to understand the other person's position, show love and kindness, and pray for the other person. Conflict is no fun at all, but it can provide the opportunity to learn and grow as Christians. God always wants us to learn and grow, even in the hard, and we can always seek Him for guidance. So I pray that if you have some conflict going on in your life, that you would seek wise counsel, you would pray for that other person, and most of all, you would allow it to uh, shape you and grow you closer to God. All right, you guys, I'll see you next time. Bye.